Hi, in this recording we're going to take a look at how you can leverage web pages to supplement the normal activity you have with the building. In this case we're starting off with Concordia Creative Learning Academy and we have several other ones here too, A Chance to Grow, River's Edge, and in the process of looking at this for energy we put together key elements. In this particular case we're starting with the school energy plan. And the energy plan is an overview of what we expect the facility to use in the way of energy controls and energy matters. To do that, we have to explain the HVAC equipment installation. And this is a fairly brief one. Uh, for uh, Concordia, they don't have much gear there. If I switch over to a chance to grow, we can look at more of the details. And in the process of constructing this, you cause the staff and facility people to think twice about what they actually have in the building. But it's a great overview of the equipment and how you want to run it. So if you look at your environmental policy on these sites, you can then say, ah, here's how we want to deal with the occupied hours when they start, when they end. Here's the acceptable temperature limits that we have in the building. And we add to that the other considerations that are necessary to have a decent environmental policy. And of course, we may have a lighting policy at the same time. So while we're looking at the overall plan, you recognize, of course, that you need a plan in order to be successful in your energy program. We flip back to Concordia, we can see that there are a number of other things here. One is an energy awareness program. And to have a decent uh, awareness program involves a number of aspects. People need to participate in your program. So this is an explanation of what's going on and how to make it work for you. And you can supplement that with something like a, a Facebook web page in which we're providing content that's fed from activity within the building. So energy awareness needs to link into a social component and this is one way to handle it. Beyond that we have some building energy facts for example where we've collected data from the initial energy report and this is what we're saying took place in 2009. This is the last time we had a complete set of data and it gives us some background about what our contribution is to CO2 and we can then drop on down and look at the site energy report. Uh, for the buildings that actually get a complete energy report, you can embed the report as a PDF document within your website. And you can allow people to click through it and see what you found out. Very important to have an understanding of what's going on. It isn't crucial that every building be visited, but it is important that everybody have a, a good understanding of what their energy star rating is, of course, you've got to look at your utility bills at the same time, gas bills. And in this particular building, we did a simulation to better understand how the uh, e energy is being used and what the conclusions might be about moving forward with it. And there's a site picture of it. As part of the process, daily information is delivered to blogs. So in this particular instance, so if we drop down here and we look at what was going on for our daily energy report for this particular facility, here we go. We've got our energy information coming in, and that includes graphs and charts showing us how the energy is being consumed. So this is the real power, and this is the reactive power. For those uh, not familiar with reactive power, you'll find that it's associated with motors. So its order of magnitude is much less. Here's 50 kW versus 100 and some kW. Down below is apparent power. It's even greater. It's it's, it's a combination of both reactive and real. And here's our outside air temperature. So on a given day we can see what's going on in the building. It's important to have all of these values so that we can do something with it as time goes on. All of this information, these reports come in daily and they're archived appropriately so you can see what's going on in time. Um, we also have a couple other things here. Power tutorial that gives provide some background for better understanding what's going on inside the building and this may be better relegated to the older um, students or faculty members who are looking at 
this kind of uh, technical background for their use. And guess what? We can have some real-time data as it's actually occurring. So here's an update of what's going on in the building. The building just began to ramp up for this particular time. Over Throughout the day yesterday, it would had a pretty good value. Here's the outside there. Here's a detailed view. It runs about an hour and a half, almost two hours. And you can see what's going on uh, in a larger historical context there, too. So this is a, an overview of how we can leverage our energy plan in the context of a WordPress site. So for those, those of you so inclined, drop on down and you can get into it. Uh, we probably use Skype to provide the support. You can get into it by hitting your blog admin and it brings up a dashboard and you're able to go in and check your post uh, you can add pages of content to it on your own, not, not difficult to do. Um, we have a number of other features in here that have leveraged this, this concept of uh, plugins. And WordPress has a huge number of plugins. So I think if you're interested in moving forward with a comprehensive approach, we can leverage both the combination of a WordPress website as well as a Facebook implementation. Uh, perhaps link it to the actual site of the customer and make something happen that's interesting.